great that we can use our cooking skills to help people who need it at the homeless shelter? Yeah, it feels good to give back, but um, I'm a little worried. You know, if we give away all these ingredients, uh, we won't have enough left for tonight. Well, you know, there's a story in the Bible that might encourage you. What story is that? Mm, it's about a widow who only had a handful of flour and a little bit of a bottle of oil, just a little bit left. Couldn't find any more food in town, so that was it. That's all they had. So she was preparing to make one last meal for her and her son. And the prophet Elijah came to her asking for food. And she generously shared with what little she had left with Elijah. Wait, um, so if she gave away all her food, well then, what did she do then? No, that's a great question, Mimi. Uh -huh. Elijah promised her that that jar of flour and that jug of oil would, would not run out until the Lord sent rain on the land. And they, she could give more food. And you know what? What? They never did run out. God blessed the, them abundantly, her and her son, because of what the kindness that he showed toward Elijah, she showed toward Elijah. Wow, that's amazing. Maybe we should, you know, trust God too to provide for us, um, even though we don't think we have enough. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and you know what else? What? When we give to those in need, yeah. we're being just like Jesus, who gave everything for us. Everything. You're right. Now I remember Jesus said, whatever you did for one of the least of these followers, you did for me. That's right. You said it, Mimi. Yeah. Now let's keep cooking up some delicious meals for those who don't have as much as we yeah. do and trust that God will take care of our needs too. You got it. Let's make this the best meal ever that we cook and show God's love for the others in need. Amen. Amen.